We, be we begin with breaking news in the United States. A state of emergency has been declared in Baltimore, Maryland, and the National Guard has been activated following protests over the death of Freddie Gray in police custody. I mean, now, people really, looted yeah, stores, set fires, and hurled themselves. rocks and bricks at Baltimore police just following the funeral of Freddie Gray. As you see there, many were gang members who have taken over some of the protest. But uh, concurrently, peaceful protesters demanded justice for the young man who died while in police custody. Many have joined together of all races with a united, united voice seeking answers for the death of someone they say was a positive influence on the community. Protesters demand that police br brutality come to an end. We may not agree on everything, but guess what? You don't have to agree on everything to work together on something. And here's the something we agree with. Police brutality in Baltimore must stop today. You might call God by different names. You may not pray at all. You may be from the east side or west side, up the hill or down the hill. But we agree today, no matter your age, no matter where you're from, we agree in this moment that we need to, as a community, police the police because they cannot police themselves. We want a, a transparent investigation. We want a, a quick investigation. I think the longer that they drag this investigation out, the people are going to be more inclined to think that they're going to, they're going to cover this up again, like they've been doing a lot of other um, uh, homicides or police-related homicides of uh, black unarmed men and black unarmed women in this country. And thousands paid their respects at the funeral of 25-year-old Freddie Gray. It was understandably an emotional day for all in attendance as friends, family, and strangers came together to say goodbye. The death of the young man has been the catalyst of a wave of recent protests once again, challenging a seemingly racially motivated and excessive use of force by U.S. police officers. And meanwhile, Baltimore Police Commissioner Anthony Batts says investigators are analyzing surveillance video that could provide more clues about Gray's death. Now, the commissioner also admits that the police violated its own protocol during Gray's arrest. We know he was not buckled in the transportation wagon, as he should have been. No excuses for that, period. We know our police employees failed to get him medical attention in a timely manner multiple times.